welcome to technology point in the last video we have seen about the external table creation and in this video what we will see is that we will see about the temporary table creation in the hive I have a small PPT I will show you that um, in hive temporary table while creating the hive temporary table is just like the other table but the thing is that once we create the hive temporary table the temporary table will be or uh, the uh, will like it will appear only in the current session if suppose we have uh, quitted the session the temporary table will be removed from the uh, hive database okay uh, with the help of the like suppose we have what is the use of the temporary table is that uh, we need to process a huge amount of data at the time we need some intermediate processing of some results at that time we use this temporary table okay to configure the temporary table uh, we need to provide the hive dot execute dot scratch dir and it will configure the uh, directory for the temporary table the temporary table does not support like partitioning and by indexing will not be supported in the temporary table okay and then we'll be having like we can once uh, we are going to create a temporary table at the time it will suppose we have a uh, table name called EMP at the time we are going to create a temporary table in the name of EMP it will not warn or give any message that the table is already created it will simply create a table uh, with the existing EMP table and it will not uh, give any warning messages uh, once we are going to do a query on the same table that mm, in this scenario what it will does is that the temporary table will be loaded first uh, while the normal table manage table will not be loaded okay uh, once we quit the hive session the temporary table will be lost okay uh, we will create a temporary table in the cloud lab once we create the temporary table we will come to know clearly about this I'm going to create a temporary table create temporary table EMP and then ID integer string integer pro format delimited fields terminated set by comma and then giving semicolon once we have created the temporary table EMP it will be created once we do a show table it will show oh we have created in the normal database okay what we will do we will create inside here uh, like uh, my database name called Bala we are created inside the database name called Bala and we are going to uh, query the thing show tables and it shows that EMP has created and we are going to do a select star from EMP in this case we don't have any data inside the EMP table we are going to describe EMP 
it shows the schema of the created table now I am going to quit from the uh, hive once I quit from the hive I am going to log in into the hive again once we log in into the hive I am going to uh, navigate the database name called Bala once I navigate the path I am going to show table provide the show table commands once I provide the show tables I as now listed with the table name called EMP we are going to do a select star from EMP in this time what you see is that we have seen the database with the name called Arun Balaji all those things are loaded in the EMP table last time once we type the temporary table EMP it has created the table but once we uh, query the result it doesn't show any output for the uh, EMP from select star from EMP though there is no output displayed for the EMP because we didn't create any of the records inside the EMP table the reason why I showed you now is that uh, once after the quitting the EMP uh, sorry quitting the high once we quit from the high once we uh, log in into the hive again once we see the employee table which we have already inside the database name called Bala once we log in once we do a query on the EMP table the table will now display the result which it has previously the recorded data set value so it's showing the data set with the already stored values once if we create a um, temporary data at that time the data will not be uh, shown with the suppose we are creating a temporary table same in the same name as EMP it will not show you the result of the temporary table okay uh, it will first show the temporary table which we have created and it will not show the already existing table once we give the quit command and again we log into the hive and we provide the EMP table uh, query querying the EMP table at the time it will show the result this is the use of the uh, temporary table table i hope everyone enjoyed this video please do subscribe and comment my video thanks for watching